Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Welcome back to day two of working on my large forest in the middle of winter. In day one of this series, I worked on the apex of the tallest tree up here, trying to get it a little slimmer and fitting in more with the style of the other trees in the forest. That was somewhat successful. I'm going to keep working on that into the future years. I also removed all the needles off of the trees, the ones that were still hanging on, and I'm starting to clean up all the needles from around the base of the trees, cleaning up the moss, and I've got to get rid of all the lichen off the trees, which is building up very, very thickly. Here's a look at some of the branches, and you can see the lichen is getting quite a thick layer in some places, so I've got to scrub that all away. A little bit of lichen can look quite nice on your trees. It kind of gives them a bit of age. But when you get big thick layers like that on some of the branches, it can prevent back budding. All those dormant buds that could develop on your branches are kind of blocked, blocked by the lichen. They don't get much light and they'll just stay dormant. They won't develop. So I'm going to clean all the branches today of the lichen. I'm going to use a toothbrush to clean the lichen away. And it's very hard to get off the trees when the lichen is dry. So what I do is I get my spray bottle and I mist all the trees, soaking the lichen. You let it soak for a few minutes and then when you go to brush it with the toothbrush, it's much, much easier to get off. Someone said that if you get a lot of lichen on your trees, it means you have good air quality. So I don't know if that's true, but I get a lot of lichen on my trees. It builds up and builds up. Look how thick some of these branches are covered in lichen. Like, it's unbelievable. Even the trunks on some of these trees. I mean, they're bright green with lichen. No bark texture at all on them. It's incredible. Like, even up in my apex here, it's all covered in green. Yeah, it's just... Definitely time to thin out the lichen, holy. And I've done this before. It just keeps building back up. Yeah, incredible, just incredible. Amazing stuff, lichen. I have finished brushing the lichen off tree number one. Can you guess which tree it is? <laughs> They're all green except for one here. So this is the tree here. It's all the lichen is off of it. So that, yeah, that was a lot of work. It took me a full hour to do this one medium sized tree. So there's eight trees in this forest. So I have seven left to do. So. I've got a lot of work. I'll just keep working away. I'm not going to be able to get it all done today, so I'll just I'll just have to keep going. I'm working on taking all the lichen off the main tree. So when you're doing this, make sure you support your branches as you're brushing. You don't want to break them off. So you've got to get a hand underneath all the branches, especially the fine delicate ones. Cuz they can break quite easily. And this time of the year, the buds are quite tightly closed, so you don't really have to worry about, you know, you can brush around the bud area as long as you're not scrubbing too hard. So I'm just doing all the branches, getting this lichen off. Just keep spraying with water. Which kind of makes your hands quite cold out here, but what can you do? Yeah. 
Yeah, so it takes a long time for doing each tree. Because it is, you know, you got to be very careful around your branch tips. Occasionally on some of the dead branches you'll get, you know, the little fine end will break off or something. But, you know, what can you do? You try and be as careful as you can, and that's all you can do. You might get a little bit of breakage here and there on some dead, fine dead twigging, but... That's just the evolution of the tree as a bonsai, I guess. This branch is getting there. So I think it's going to take me uh, probably several days to do this. I'll probably get, you know, maybe I can get four trees done a day. I don't know. I guess it depends on how, how much time I've got in the day to spend on it. I'll just keep at it. So if you don't see any videos coming, you'll know this is what I'm doing. I'm scrubbing lichen off my large trees. Here's a dead branch here, so you gotta be really careful with these, that they don't break off. You've gotta support them with your hand as you're brushing. And I'm starting at the top of the trees and I'm working my way down because it is a fairly messy job. Now right now, when these trees are you know, wet like this and the lichen is freshly scrubbed off, they look very kind of reddish, dark brown, reddish color. But as soon as the sun hits them and they dry out a bit, this will turn to kind of a light gray. And then as the tree grows, all this bark will begin cracking like it is down below. And it'll slowly obtain or get that really aged, mature look to the trees. It's kind of like, the bark is like the final icing on the cake. Something that comes with an old tree. Is you get that nice, fine, old-looking bark on it. There's always something to look forward to as your trees get older. They are, they're always changing. And hopefully getting better. Not all bonsai get better with age, but with proper management, they should. You know, barring insect attacks or, you know, weather events that are out of your control. But, you know, most trees should get slowly better with age. Well, I'm glad I'm doing all this because this will keep all these branches nice and healthy come spring. All these buds won't have to fight with all this lichen on the branches. Especially at the branch tips here. Sure gives you a good look at your uh, trees. It's like washing your car. When you wash your car, you notice every dent and scratch in the bodywork. And when you're scrubbing lichen off your branches, you sure get a good look at each branch. You see what's doing well on the branch and what areas have died off and what needs pruning and what doesn't. Forces you to look at every branch very carefully. So here I'm into the delicate branches, being very careful to use a light touch on the brush, support it with my fingers, give it a rinse. And even if you don't get 100% of the lichen off, you know, as long as you get like 90% off, the tree will do really well. I mean, there's some spots that are just really, really hard to get into. That's looking quite good. All right. Still got some work on these back branches, but I'm getting there. The top of the tree is slowly being revealed. I have got the main tree in the forest cleaned up of its lichen. It took a long time. There's a lot of surface area on this tree and a lot of branches to do. 
So that's two trees done now. So I've got to do all the ones at the back. A lot of work to go. But I'm really glad I got that done. It's uh, nice to see them scrub clean once again. I've now got three trees all cleaned up of the lichen. So I did this back one in here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five to go. Some of them are small, but there's a lot of details to do on them. It's going to be a lot of work. So I'm going to continue this work tomorrow. I didn't think it'd take so long, but, you know, it doesn't matter how long it takes. It's got to just get done. So I'll just keep working away until they're all cleaned of their algae. And then I can continue on with the moss, cleaning moss away from the base of the trees. And then eventually cleaning the whole landscape up and making it a little better. So that'll be coming in the future. I made a small bit of progress on my larch forest today, cleaning all that thick lichen off the branches and the trunks, hopefully setting it up for maybe a bit of back budding. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.